So we know that children need healthy, you know, meals and especially breakfast um, and lunch during that school day in order for them to function well. And studies have shown that there is an association between children that eat well and um, children's performance in school on, on certain standardized um, exams. So it's, you know, no question important to, um, to eat well in order to learn well. And people take it personally when I talk about the tax break, like, oh, you just bashing the city administration. No, all I'm saying is that, no, all I'm saying is that when you look at the tax breaks in general, they cost the school system $80 million, between 75 and $85 million. to do certain things as relates to our health, but also ways in which we can do it. So how do you take the next step? Develop programs um, that will help support healthy lifestyles and engage people around those programs. Uh, policies, so to those programs oftentimes can inform the policies that are ultimately developed. And what's been really key is developing partnerships. We know the state government can't do it alone. The private sector can't do it alone. It really takes a concerted effort and in order for us to affect um, uh, significant health change across our state and across the country. Yes, you want to bring business, but at what, at what cost? Because you're trying to fix the economic situation in the city, but at the same time, you're damaging the school. Uh, so it, it has to be a balance between the two, and I'm not sure that people have given enough thought to it. But again, the people at the table talking about education, though, ain't educators. Show. 
the business, it's all about uh, you can change parts and come up with uh, a final product. Our children, ages 6 through 11, their um, rate of being uh, overweight or obese is uh, doubled. And adolescents, those that are ages 12 through 19, we see their rates of being um, overweight have actually tripled in the last two decades. So if you're trying to produce a square car, you can contain, you can change certain things on the assembly line to come up with a new square car. You can change parts on the assembly line in a K-12 in the school system, but because of everything else in society, it may not change anything. God said to his people out in front of the JC concert to talk about being sunny, to talk about being sober, to talk about not cussing no more. So I think it's a little different. When you take those factors and you, and you combine them, the diet, the lack of exercise, and policies that don't support healthy behavior, then that combination over many, many years um, uh, will contribute to the epidemic of obesity that we see today. I mean, for me, personally, seriously, I, I, it's, 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 it's hard to say that it's much bigger than the presidency because it's never bigger than that. But for me, for the first time, me growing up a little boy from Brooklyn, Marcy Projects, it's the first time in life that we were included into the process of America. Any boy, anybody, anywhere, like when you tell your kid you can be anything, it's like a cliche, I believe it now. Absolutely, one hundred believe it now. So the promise of hope is bigger than anything. So this is the most important election you're probably gonna see in life. So everybody, please get out and vote. You want to keep going? I see a good. Y'all want to keep going? I play like. 20 records, y'all think I got more? Let's go! Panels! 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 Panels!